Thanks for coming in to the parent-teacher interview today. I have some concerns about Hannah's grades. I don't think you understand. We might need to get her a tutor. Hi. Hi, welcome to the English Assessment Center. How can we help you today? I want to improve my English, but I don't know what options I have. I looked online and saw that there are classes I can take. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? For sure. Actually, good timing because this is John. He's one of our language counselors and he can give you more information about that. Hi, I'm John. Samuel. So Samuel, you have a lot of options to choose from to improve your English, but if you want to take a formal class like LINK or ESL, you're going to need to have your English level assessed. So the first step would be to book a time for that, and afterwards we can discuss your options. Thank you. Uh, can you book me for next week, please? The Canadian Language Benchmarks, also called CLBs, are used to assess English language and literacy skills in Canada, with benchmarks going from 1 through 8. A person at benchmark 1 has little or no English skills, and a person at benchmark 8 has advanced English skills. The English assessment consists of four sections, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. The reading and writing sections are written, while listening and speaking sections are verbal. English assessments are free of charge for permanent residents and Canadian citizens. So, we've went over your assessment results. Do you have any questions? What learning options do you think are best for me? Depending on your needs, there are formal and informal options available, offered in full-time or part-time, okay. in person or online. So if you want to work while you study, you can do that. Oh, well, that's perfect. That's good. First, let's take a look at some formal learning options. Okay. Language Instruction for Newcomers, also called LINK, is an English training program for permanent residents. It focuses on speaking, reading, writing and listening, and helps you gain the knowledge you need to settle in Canada. A referral from an assessment center is required to register for LINK classes. English as a Second Language, or ESL, is a learning option available to everyone. It also focuses on the four areas of learning and is usually intended for newcomers with a benchmark of five or above. If you need to meet English requirements for post-secondary studies, some post-secondary institutions offer classes at a cost. These courses are called English for Academic Purposes. Let's take a look at some options for informal language learning. Many community organizations offer informal drop-in activities like reading clubs and conversation classes. Your local library is a great place to start with resources and programs for both children and adults. Other places you might look include immigrant serving agencies, religious institutions, and community centers. So, those are some English learning options for you to choose from. Thank you. Uh, that's great. Is there any financial uh, help available while I study? To see if you qualify for financial support, you can visit the Alberta Work Centre or your language school. Depending on your eligibility, supports may include childcare, transportation, or even a living allowance. That's great. I will call the, the school referred to me, and hopefully I will start classes soon. Excellent. Best of luck. Thank you. Anna, I spoke to your teacher and I think we need to talk. 